the bully and the beast podcast. You got gang bang by two dykes. <laughs> That's what me? happened to you this week, right? What? It wasn't me. It wasn't? Nope. Okay. Well, what's going on? Bully and the Beast Podcast. Yo. I'm L'Oreal. It's your boy Wax. What I, up? I just found out that Wax Weed Man is just as dumb as him. Hey, man, listen. You sent him the exact address. Now we sitting here weedless because he went to a whole address he made up on his own. He ain't really make it up. It kind of makes sense. I mean, I actually did this. The first time I was ever here, I did the exact same thing. Exactly why I said y'all both dumb. Hey, man, it's my guy. I came right here because this is... Oh, anyway. you smarter than everybody, right? Everybody. Mm-hmm. But I bet you T Diddy came straight here. Did you go to Forty Second? Listen, if you think you want to think like, too. listen, if you want to uh, think like her, that's a problem. She's the producer of our show. I think she's quite genius. Yeah, take that, take that. T Diddy. <laughs> anyway, um, so congratulations to me because Wax is an asshole. So I'm not gonna wait for him to say congratulations. Oh, congratulations! I had a great live show yeah. with Ooh, my girl. I seen it. For lip I see you up there live. twerking, looking all crazy. I was not twerking. Gigi Ooh. was twerking. Wow. She's the twerk master. I don't do that. I'm the talk shit master. Oh, all right, okay. Everybody got to play their position. Yeah, play your role. See what you is. I'm not going to lie. I put up the picture of like the four of us bitches. It was mm-hmm. me, Angela, Gigi, and Stephanie. Yeah. And underneath the caption, I mean, underneath the picture, somebody was like, but where's Wax? <laughs> like, you were supposed <laughs> to be in a leotard standing <laughs> with us. I kind of thought that. I'm like, I wonder what L'Oreal thinking. And I, 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 I just like the picture. I was going to say, don't worry about it. I wasn't invited. You were so invited. I wasn't invited. T. Diddy, didn't I invite That's everybody? everybody? You see how she wanted me to say congratulations? She didn't even invite me up. This nigga purposely flew somewhere the same day of my live show and came back um, the morning after. The so morning? fuck you. Oh, Thanks for your support, Wax. No You're great. I would love to have been there. I mm. heard you was twerking. I wasn't twerking. Oh, that's why you would want to be there? Get off my yes. dick. Anyway, so um, Trina came. came. I, heard. I heard she had some she really nice amazing. legs. That's all everybody kept saying. Trina's legs are so nice. That you were looking at her legs the whole time. Okay. HB's a creep. Okay. You're looking at the legs. Nice legs is very hard to come by. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have nice legs. Nice toes. You know, it's great. Well, what the fuck did you do this week? Um, Fake act like I was going on a flight and I didn't go. Oh, so you didn't come to my show? <laughs> fuck you, it's like, nah, I'm bitch. No. <laughs> I'm so no, mad. No, I had to. That's why I got a little crick in my back. I need somebody that's like, ain't too many dudes like... Even dudes who are bigger than me, they not strong. You know what I'm saying? So Wait, so to... you looking for a dude that's stronger than you, though? Not even that strong enough to like pick me up and try to like help me crack my back or something like that because I got been flying so much lately. Listen, come on, man. Why do like, you just set, on, this, listen, set yourself listen. up? It's like not this. like that. We understand. Why do you go to a fucking chiropractor? So you want you know a big, strong man to pick you up? And I need a chiropractor, man. Crack right? your back. I like that, wax. All right. I well, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Let's get into the, let's get into some voicemails yes. because I actually Jesus been Christ. dying to um to hear some voicemails. Yes. Hey man, shit, man. Your boy in Orlando. I need to ask a question, man. Uh I had this chick and she went down on me and saw my dick and she thought that I got herpes, but I don't. I mean it's it's some shit going on, but it ain't no disease shit. I mean, I looked it up. It's a, it's called PPP. Let my doctor look at it. And I'm straight, but I don't got no diseases, nothing. But how should I, like, you know, like, how how should I mingle without having to, like, explain shit too much to these bitches? Hey, y'all keep it up, man. Y'all do your thing. L'Oreal, you find as hell. Well, I don't yeah, want PPP. Want Give L'Oreal PPP, I, baby. I don't want OPP. <laughs> okay. So, PPP. Pearly Penal Papples. So, how it look? So, they're non-cancerous growths. They can be pink, white, yellow, or rarely translucent. Is PPP a STD? Everything herpes. PPP is not an STD. Has no known known causes. Wow. That's kind of fucked up. It's fucked up. Let me see what it looks like. I'm scared to see. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to look. <coughs> it's like, it looks like if you burn your tongue. Oh, Jesus Christ, fam. 
You got herpes, bro. That's herpes. Everything with a bump is herpes. Okay, but that's the bad picture, but I'm going to show you the one that doesn't look so bad. Just don't show me the meat. Show look me at like this. The... Jesus Christ, I don't want to see that shit. Just, this, <laughs> I see it. It's yeah. hard to show without shit because it's only on men. So I how the fuck it. else am I going to show Just you? Let me see why the girl would be upset. This one. I don't want to see it, L'Oreal. Because <laughs> what if he's only had a rare But that's rare fucked case? up But because you don't want not, nothing It's not an STD He has nothing I be looking at girls condition. too I be, Y'all look at girls I, uh, One time Charlemagne crazy ass We in um, Carolina And I always used to put girls on the sink I still put girls on the sink But I would go in there And turn the light on And see if they motherfucking Got bumps or something on them Wax, And this look, girl This one is not like a dick Big Just like- ass Razor bump And she said She said it was like A, a ingrown hair In her, in her pussy but I don't, I'm thinking everything is fucking herpes when I see a bump. You know what I'm saying? So, I told Charlemagne ass, and this nigga went, we had a round table, a bunch of girls, and Wax, and Charlemagne gonna say, one of these girls, Wax over here fucking got a big ass bump on her pussy. And the girl <laughs> ran out crying. Oh my like, yeah, God. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, bro. It's kind of fucked up. Did you get a that. big bump on your pussy too? No, <laughs> never came. Thank God. Damn, so you just was like, fuck it, I'm going to just risk it all? No, I never smashed it. After, no, you know Look, what? you just lied, okay? You know we caught you, you know and you're lying. Later on, I ended up smashing her. Because you said it never came, so that means you would have had to fuck in order for no, it to be No, nothing, nothing never happened to me. She had a fucking razor, but that's what I'm saying. Everything, usually, if I see a bump, it's every, automatically herpes. Did she have it again the next time you went to? Never, she didn't have okay. nothing there. And she said it was like an ingrown hair. Y'all ever had that? Yeah, ingrown hair is possible, but it shouldn't look like a herpes bump. I don't even know what herpes bump is. Anything that looked like anything is a fucking herpes to me. Okay, but that's not what was happening here. The man doesn't have herpes. Okay. He has OPPP. So if you've seen that on him, what you going to say? Herpes, right? That girl thought it was herpes. She's mad as hell. <laughs> she didn't want to fuck I mean, with him you're, no more. you're the man, so you tell him what to do. If Jesus Lord, family. If that shit come on me, I don't care what it is. It's herpes, bro. No girl want to see that shit. Nobody want to. Nobody want to shake your hands when they know you got something like that. Then you got to wait for it, um, a cure. No, he got to wait for a girl who just. You got to pay for pussy, bro. But then they still not gonna probably want to fuck. Why he don't just wear a condom? Off. They probably won't see it. For him, to, you got to do one like. You better, you better I don't like know what girls. to say. I felt bad because this is really like. First of all, you got to be honest with someone. Why don't you? If no, you don't have to be honest if it's not contagious. Like if she's not nothing gonna happen to her, you better keep them lights off like the fat girls do, and like or the girls that hold their titties while they fucking. And cut the lights off. You don't think that's kind of like lying to somebody? Nah, because nothing's going to happen to her. Now, if there's any reason, I don't care if it's 1%, something might happen to her because I got this bullshit on me, you have to tell her. But it's nothing's going to happen to her because you know it's not contagious. It's not like a herpes or nothing. I think it should be all right. But if she's going to suck your dick, she's going to see it. Ooh. And let me tell you something. If I did, was in that position, I would be like, what the fuck is going what, on And here? you got to fuck him up. And I, got, I probably would have stabbed him. It's kind of... <laughs> I was about to say something real crazy that might have got us thrown uh, the fuck out of here. Let's go, baby. Yeah, so I'm going to just Chicken be quiet. Chicken farm, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just... I would say I, my advice is to be honest. Your advice is to lie and hide it. Uh, I, I'm not saying... Because there's nothing going to happen to her. Now, if there's any way something's going to happen to her, I say, bro, you have to tell the motherfucker. You got to jump her. ahead of the bullet, I feel like. It's, if it's not contagious, why don't you be like, here's a solution. Why don't you be like, okay, I have this condition. I, we go to the doctor together, and I'll prove to you that it's not contagious and it's nothing Respect. like that. But you take a test, too, and then you're going to find out she got herpes. <laughs> Thank right. God. Thank God. And then now you dodge the bullet. Yeah. Yeah, or or you could just be like, um, I don't know, hide the motherfucker. You just want to hide it. Just okay. hide it because nothing's going to happen to this girl. Or just say like, listen, when I was young, I would try to jump over a fence and my balls got ripped and it, was, it just fucking And grew. now it's just, ball, uh, it's bumps just bumps that just, rotate around yeah, my Yeah, from, <laughs> from the fucking gate. I don't know. I don't believe that they're always A dog there. bit me. You better say something. You better go after them shit and make them sores or something. I don't know. He should say it's a birthmark. Say something. <laughs> or say it's an ingrown like that girl told you. Hell yeah. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Big fan of the podcast. My name is Ben. Um, So I am a virgin. I'm in high school. And there's this girl, and she's, you know, she's pretty attractive. Um, 
I got a little bit of a belly and some man tits, but, um, so she offered to have sex with me just like as a friends with benefits type thing. And I was wondering what you guys thought of that. Also, I want to eat her pussy, but I don't know if I should use a, I don't know if I should do that because I know she's fucked a lot of guys. So yeah. What do you guys think? All right. Thanks. First off, buddy. Um, titty man. Can we call him titty man? No. Okay. Let's call him Belly. <laughs> <laughs> I like Belly. There's a rapper belly. named Belly. belly. There's a What's movie good, named belly? belly. Don't worry about it. She always, that's what she does. She fucks a lot of guys. They all fuck a lot of guys. Anybody Who the you fuck is eat, they all? Any pussy you eat got some miles on the motherfucker. Keep going, because I'm not even going to interrupt this. All right, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me eat over here. Belly. See, Belly, what I want you to do is uh get that sympathy pussy. You know what I'm saying? She feel a little bad for you. Or she just might want to be one of them girls who like guys with titties and bellies. They are out there, right? I mean, she wants to fuck him. I don't think she but wants she to said, fuck him. She I, said, I think she tired of all them sympathy talks that he be doing. Like, yeah, no girls like me. Like, come on, I'll give you some pussy, man. Because he did use the word, she offered to fuck me. That made me feel uncomfortable when I heard that. Yeah, because he's talking too much. He always like, nobody want to give me some pussy. Like, uh, listen, I, I'll give you some pussy. Okay, go ahead. That's it. I mean, that sounds, that's your advice. It up. What you think? Um, see, it's hard because I know what guys like y'all first sexual experience. Not everybody, but a lot of y'all is just like not that special or important to y'all. Uh-huh. It's kind of like y'all just want to fuck to get it to start getting to know how to do it. Good. Yeah, experience. The but best I feature. feel like with women, it's more so like I if I could have changed the person I lost my virginity to, I would every time. Like, I would have. No, but some people I know, like, are either married to somebody they yeah. lost their virginity to, or they stay with them for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? If it, if it's a situation where he cares about his virginity, which I think he should at this point. He's in high school and he's still a virgin. Well, you better get rid of that shit. That's like a fucking disease for a young boy. Yeah, I guess that's how y'all want to look at it, but I don't look at it that way. Yeah, if you're still a virgin as a young boy, you don't even want to go to school. Every morning you like thinking like, damn, I'm still a fucking virgin. And I got to answer that question every time they say it in fucking gym class. Or you don't get no pussy, you get pussy, or you a virgin. Nobody wants to say they a virgin as a young man. But why he can't fuck with a girl that he likes and just not like Nobody likes- one that fucked everybody? Yeah, because she the only one who's fucking everybody. All the other girls, you know, around that time, around that age, they ain't, well, that's high school? Yeah, that's Bro, what I'm you saying. High school, they fucking. So fucking. It's the titties, they, Those man. little fast-ass girls is fucking nowadays. He ain't playing no sports or nothing, then. He's probably inside the library. He has titties, he said. So. I know a lot of football players who get titties and get, uh, got titties and be fucking. Well, what about the eating pussy part? Uh, bro, I'm not that good at it, so. Wait to eat pussy. Like, don't just eat everybody pussy. You yeah. can't just go around eating everybody pussy. Yeah. Or you're going to be like the other guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> you that shit Nothing's your wrong with that guy. <laughs> yeah, what's your brother, though? Have, have that shit around your mouth or no, your No, not, uh, no, not around your mouth. I don't know. Both of this is bad. Yeah. Let's stick on topic about... The guy uh, and he and pussy. Right, so right, I think that he pussy. should save that. Okay, if you want him to just fuck go ahead and fuck. It. Listen, yes. you want him to just go ahead and fuck, that's fine. Yes. But save the eating pussy part for somebody that you like. Nah, because he's going to still be a virgin to eat pussy. Get rid of nah, all you don't that gotta shit. Tell, why you got to tell everybody your motherfucking business? I get it, but this guy's out here trying to tell us, so we got to give him some real good advice. Yo, is he a virgin and eating pussy? You a virgin and fucking get rid of that virgin don't shit. Don't eat her pussy yet. Don't eat her pussy. Eat, and, save the eating pussy shit for a girl that you like. First off, if she's fucking a, a lot of people, she somebody smash her good, right? She's only gonna fuck this guy one time. Maybe, maybe not. He don't know what he's doing. It's first time, and she feels better that she's gonna try to like put him on. She probably does this. Like this is probably it's like probably what she does. Yeah, she probably does this. I can see that. He said she offered to fuck me. I hope she's like, I don't know. Cause I, I don't oh, want her to, fat with extra titties. No, I don't want her to be like a little kid, but then I don't want her to be a grown woman. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, give me a grown woman. T- turn his ass out. Oh, That'd be a Lord. fucking project for you guys. Like the older woman do me. They yeah. still think they could do that to me. Do I teach you something? Yeah. They be having. You ever fuck Young with a bitch man. with dentures? Of where course. they had to take their I teeth told out? you I go in the fucking bathroom. I see them shit all the time. You got the fucking case right there. 
got some nice cases. Some like Invisalign nice. or like no, dentures? No, like dentures case. Some got some nice pearls. I got some, no, bitches got a couple of bucks. But they old as hell. I couldn't see like going to fuck somebody and they're like, all right, hold on, let me take out my teeth. Listen, and it's the same old fuck. Nasty. They'll be over talking all that shit, they little whine, like, oh, you don't know what I'm gonna do to you. It's the same thing, laid like, back and I, I smash and then it's like, what the, every time I drive, I'll be like, what the fuck should she do? Old woman put, like, old, what kind of old woman? You. White old women, a black white, old white, woman, black but Asian? Still? Even, when they, even when they riding, they got no. the face, like, the pain face a little bit. So How many like, do you have? The pain know. face? I don't know. It's like they got the pain face. Like, you know, they be like, I'm going to rock your world. I'm going to do this. and I'm gonna, they ain't No, I shit. don't know. I don't know. Oh, they be talking shit. Like, they could teach me something. Like, you don't know what I do to you, young man. You young. Ah. What age are we talking, Wax? Because I'm so confused. I'm 35, older than that. So, I don't know. I'm a young man to them. Okay, how old <laughs> are they? They go right to sleep. They don't even want to walk me to the door that old. Can you tell me how old? Nope. Oldest. One of the, the oldest. oldest? Actually paid one of the less because I felt bad for her. She wanted to least. pay. Least. The least. The paid least. the least. Well, yeah. she wanted to pay me the least. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you know what I'm this saying? Nigga. Yeah, because she, I felt bad even taking the money from her. She had to put glasses How on. How motherfucking old, nigga? Um, well, I feel bad. Say it. Like okay, like the fifties, high fifties. Nigga, get out. <laughs> <laughs> she paid me though. So like sixty years old, almost. I about sixty. All right. 60, I don't even feel like... He act like the bitch got a wheelchair. Yo, 60, 60-year-old motherfuckers yo, yo, got their teeth. You see these motherfucking 25, 28-year-old burnt bitches out here? They burnt. Like, I, I see 38-year-old fucking trashed. Like, come on, yo. I see them. They old as hell. How old is Whoopi Goldberg? See, Whoopi aging different. What's the other girl? Um, How old is Jada Pickett, mom? See, see, she, she doing Jada crazy Pickett stuff. Smith. It's only one of those. These, these women are 60-something. Shut the fuck Hot. up. I'm not listening to oh, no hold. more of your story. Hold on. Is it, how many 60-year-old women look like That's Jada Pickett's mom? That's the last mom? story. I'm done with these fables. Ah, whatever. Play the net. I don't even care how old nobody is no more. Good. This nigga is just a fucking <laughs> lie, yo. Play, can you play the next voicemail? Can't believe I'm talking to him. Like everybody look like her. Hey, guys. What's up? It's me, Rydell. I want to say what's up to L'Oreal and also Wax. What's up? Okay, I have a question. I am a gay African-American male. All right. I, I just turned 31. I've been in relationships before, but my gay radar is not that good. So I have a next door neighbor who appears to be straight, but we make eye contact. He's attractive. And I think he might be like, not like 22 years old. I don't know. But I want to make a move. I want to know, what can I say to him? You know, Wax, you're a straight guy. Zoriel, you're a female. you got experience with men. How can I make my move on a guy who may be straight or may be curious or bisexual or gay? But I don't know. Please, give me some advice here. Shit, I know what to do. Your gator is off, so how at him. It's Pride Month. I would put a rainbow flag in my front yard, so he just be clear and know no, I think he knows what it is. Gay. I think Does he, he know? He, I think he knows he's He gay. just says his gaydar is off. Now, I'm going to tell you what that means to me when I hear somebody say that inside of the advice and all that. Peace. Basically, he's saying to us that he's tried a straight man before and the motherfucker either punched him in his face, Early. shut him down, Early. or shut him down and <laughs> punched him in his face. <laughs> So that's what his gaydar off me. That's what I was going to tell him. I said, listen, if you go to that man and he's straight, it all depends on how you go at him. You be like, yo, bro, let's go out for some drinks. And you say that to me, I'm looking at you like, bro, I don't drink. But what if he's just new in town and this nigga's gaydar is off and he's straight? So he's just like, yeah, bro, we could go hit the... I been, I don't know what's around here anyway. I always you know? bring bitches in there. I'm like, yeah, I know where the, I know where the hoes at. I know where the girls at. And see what it... The dude, if he don't say, nah, if I'm married... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And people are like, nah, I ain't looking for no girl, girls, man. You go chill. I'm like, nah, my wife want me to stay home tonight, bro. Because how awkward is it going to be if he hits on him and then he's not gay and now they easy. live next door? You got to be easy. That's what I'm saying. You got to do it like you go to a girl, be like, hey, how you doing? You need some help? Nah, that's, that might be worse. That's that's a bad line? Mm -hmm. I, that's why I suck with getting girls. You need some help? <laughs> What the guy's actually yeah, saying? Yeah, come anyway? over here and stroke my cock. Like, what is he supposed to do? 
<laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Yo, I watched that fucking movie. What's the uh, the Silence of the Lamb? What's the with the five people? I, I don't yeah, know. yeah. When they see us, and and the cop said, and the cop said, when they see us, and you called that shit Silence of the Lamb? Yeah, because I thought they had to be quiet. But um, mem- remember the remember the co- guard said, "Yo, you want to do something for me?" Remember the guard told that kid, and he was like, "What do you yes, mean?" Yeah, I remember Wax. Yeah. What? I don't know. I was just saying that. <laughs> Maybe that's what he was talking about. So, my nigga, you just changed the whole subject to bring that up and had no... It like, did. I did. That's why we was talking no about No finish line and that. <laughs> I just... thought, when you come, when you remind it back, you'll see why I said that. Nigga the got cop a said, finger. Go ahead. I don't even know what that means. I know. I know. All right. The, I know. The cop said, do you, is there something you could do for me? So, you thought it was some gay shit. He was, he, right? I didn't see no gay shit happen. Come on. That guy was getting him smashed by them dudes. What you think was happening to that boy? They was raping that boy. They was... Oh, I thought they was damn near killing and beating him. They beating him up. up. What you think was happening to him? They was doing him dirty. Oh, okay. No, I'm not saying... But he says, is there anything you could do for me? Yeah, that mean get him head. But he didn't do... He didn't give get I'm no head. I'm sure that that guy was hitting him up. Y'all seen that before? Because you don't remember he started giving him candy bars and... <laughs> yeah! Doing stuff. That's what it was, Wax. Did you not watch the... Listen, he started giving him stuff. Did you not see that? And he was like, this is all I have right now. And he was begging his mom to put money on the commissary. It wasn't forehead. Your gaydar's off. Because that's not what it was about. Yo, somebody else, please, when y'all watch this, please go back If it was the forehead, they would have put that in there. What, do you think I was him... Asking him for some put, uh, some from some um, some head or nothing. No, nigga, you the only what the one. Fuck, well, yo, I see a CO be like, yo, is there something you could do for me? I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I think this dude trying to smash me. Well, wax, I don't know what type. Well, of guess fucking... what, bro? I ain't got no advice for you. My gate are off too. Yeah. <laughs> I just told you that. I just told you. Yeah, uh, no. next out this motherfucker. Get I think I think here. he got to befriend a nigga and take his time. Like if he felt the dude to hit on him, if he knows he's openly gay, like if the other guy is not openly gay, then wait till he hits on you. Like stop being aggressive in this situation. He's trying to smash. She ain't got time to wait. Yeah, but he doesn't even know if he's gay. <laughs> so guess what? You're never gonna really smash if up. he's straight. Listen, that really be fucked up. That's what I'm saying. So you just. I right, so what do wait. he care then? So go right in and be like, yo, what's good? You gay? He lives. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or, or ask him on some like. So I don't know how gay guys holler at All each right, other. All right. So what if a man came up to you and was like, yo, no disrespect, but like they have, and I'd be like, I'm good. But do you feel a way about them? Nah, I just be like, yo, fam. Once he do, do I right, peace, respect. Like, Cause nobody this is never his gets... neighbor, so he's gonna have to see him again. Then stop looking at him in his fucking eyes, then, buddy. Always, oh, soon as you black, like, soon as soon as I see a dude and he's looking at me, I'm like, all right, peace. You know what I'm saying? Ain't yeah, money? he is giving him eye contact. Yeah, you over here still looking at this nigga like, yo, bro, I'm gonna look at you a little crazy. But maybe it's because he needs a friend and he's friendly. That's the problem. But maybe he's not gay, gay, but he's friendly. But he just wants to, to, you know what I mean? Make eye contact and be like, oh, what up, bro? Nah, I just think it's like a disconnect, you know, like two magnets that like push away from each other. Like They know? might be the only two black people in the building. You get what I'm saying? Y'all listen, never know. we respect, we see it, like, all right, we just, you know what I'm saying? It's not like an energy, like I said, all right, peace. It's Let not like I want to smash this no, guy. in my building, all them niggas hang out with each other. All the people in my building hang out with each other. Respect. So I can see, like, you thinking, like, all right, because... I mean, I'm not even going to get into it because I got to live around these people. No, I get it. But, but like, they know. be overly inviting. Like, oh, do you want to go to dinner? We're going to the pool. We're going to the park. We're yeah, going yeah, here. I get We're it. going I there. Believe and I'll be I like, oh, my God. It. Yes. No, thank you. Yeah. I'll meet y'all out making there. Making money. I'm to sleep. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the Early fuck are morning. you doing? <laughs> they ain't got all the time in the world. They do. All I the time all in the world. I work all day. But all the time in the world. Every day is drinks. Yes. But that's what I'm saying. That could be the case. So I just think he needs to be careful. And I don't mean careful in the sense that the guy's going to do anything to him. But it's just he like, you don't know, but you don't want to make things awkward for where you live. Don't. Sh- <laughs> First of all, don't fuck with nobody where you live. Anyway, Listen, don't shit where you eat. Yeah, you're right, fam. Or sleep. Because yeah. you're going to have to say y'all break up regardless. Say this goes great. <laughs> Yo, this shit is really funny. Right? Y'all break up and now you got to see this motherfucker anyway. So just find somebody else. Yeah, away from the crib. That yeah. was, I used to have to sneak in my garage. My, I used to call my dude like, yo, open the garage up so I could get in. He used to he used to sit there and uh, he used to sit there and lock the garage. As soon as I come here, make the garage go down. 
So now I can't get in the garage. Now the girl used to see me get out of my car and go. Oh, like the that y'all be funny. <laughs> Stupid. I would be pissed. Let me get you back, nigga. Yeah, but that's um that's that. If you want to leave a voicemail, wax yeah. what's the number? 347-679-6118. How loud is Okay. And um T Diddy will decide if your voicemails matter or not. Yeah. Because that's technically That's what who it happened. is. I'm telling y'all. Don't even hit me in my DM talking about, yo, my shit ain't make it. Fuck it. It's this <laughs> nigga T. Dizzle. Yo, do you know how many messages we get like that? It's so funny. They be like, I told T. Diddy this was a good topic. <laughs> what the fuck? It's her. I heard the same person twice. Okay, so anyway. She got her favorites, y'all. Yeah, no, I don't believe that. So we're going to get right into it. Yeah. Um, Dominican Republic. Now, mm. let me tell you, they tried to take me out, too. Like, I don't Word. know what the fuck the is going fuck? on. Now, uh, I know y'all seen my arm in a motherfucking sling. I seen it. Which is, I'm about to have a fucking neck brace on because my whole back and everything is still fucked up. So, my my me and my sisters took my mother for her 60th birthday. Blessings. Yeah, well, but you're not fucking my mom, be clear, because you said 60s, 50s. So, <laughs> and my mother got all her teeth, by the way. All her teeth. Amen. So, um, we took her away. And I wanted to go to Jamaica. Peace. And me and my sister got into it and whatever, whatever. And we ended up going where she wanted to go, DR. Even mm-hmm. though it was my idea, mm-hmm. my everything. But okay, mm-hmm. fine. So, we go to DR and what happens? Everyone's dying that month. <laughs> really? Really? Like, what the fuck is really going it's on? It's not funny. It's just funny that she picked this one Thank island. Thank God that you survived. Out of all of... Nigga, I don't know if I have yet. <laughs> so, it's crazy. So, whatever. I go to the resort, and when I tell you, one day I was drinking at the pool, and the bartender gave me a shot, and automatically I was nauseous. I I swear to God on everything I love. So, I was, like, vomiting. It was crazy. And then I said, I'm going to be all the way honest with y'all. I started crying like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to be number whatever. Yeah. And that's really what I thought. And I'm like, what is going that on? That was number 12. Listen, you would have been number 12. So, no, this was before all of this. Mm. Well, this is like around number seven, like oh. when they announced seven. So... I start Googling how far the resort is from us because I knew it wasn't the resort we were at, but they mm-hmm. still didn't know what's going on. So I start Googling it. It's like 16 miles away, right? Jeez. So I'm just like, damn, this shit is scary. Like, how can you really relax when you're mad, nervous to, like, drink anything? I really did get sick. So I stopped drinking yeah, while we were yeah. out there, right? So, um, but, you know, I'm still eating the food and stuff like that. Eating, drinking only bottled water, whatever. Please. So, um, make a long story short, we were going like on this horseback riding thing. This was our whole point for going out there. That's why we was bringing my mom so mm-hmm. she could ride the horse in the beach because she loved horses. She had yes. a horse, whatever, whatever. So, um, I kid you not, I wake up. It's like 9.30 in the morning. It's these hammocks. They were outside of our room. And, like, my mother was in the hammock the whole night. My sisters was in the other hammock, like, mm-hmm. chilling. Mm-hmm. So I ain't think nothing of it. So our it was high, too. So I decide, like, fuck, I'm going to chill in the hammock. Nope. Copycat. The fucking ship? Shut up. Yeah. The ship breaks. Right? Oh, so come to find out the ropes and shit were molded from being outside when it rained yeah. and whatever, whatever. So the people come in. They, like, snatched the the hammock out and the hammock from my sister's room. Did y'all take pictures and all that? You already know we did. So they snatched them out, whatever, of course, whatever. I ended up having to go to the hospital, which I didn't want to go because I was obviously scared because people were dying after leaving the hospital. So then they start getting offended, like, oh, you don't think our doctors are certified and good enough? I said, I didn't say that. I don't know what the fuck y'all are doing here. I don't even understand what you're saying. People getting murked over this motherfucker. I said, all I know is motherfuckers ain't coming home. You word up. Or they coming home in a box. You know what I mean? Yikes. So it was crazy because they was even trying to make me sign this waiver that said that You're I couldn't right. do anything moving forward and that they could pay for my medical expenses. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not signing this. Y'all got me fucked up. Yeah, and you got to pay for your med- the medical Regardless. expenses because it happened on your property. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all I did was sit in a fucking hammock, bro. Peace. So he's like, well, we're just going to take you to get x-rays. So now I'm in the car thinking they're trying to kill me on the way. Mm -hmm. Like, you just don't know. Because first off, when they asked me to sign that waiver, that was already my... My thing. And you, and you ain't sit there and sit there and um, do it. You ain't listen to them. They're like, listen, we're going to take you on a ride. 
We're going to act like we was in the car accident, hit her up, throw her on the side. I'm not even going to lie to you. We was recording shit they were saying in the car because we Good. didn't know. We Good. not speak no damn Spanish. You should have been, been on live. You should have been on live. Right. All my Spanish people look me out. What are they saying? I should have thought. I should have Yeah. Did that. And then when I was in the resort, they had a nigga following me around recording me. What? So I was in a pool. So the doctor told me after he looked at the x-rays, he was like, you have a sprain. You got to wear this sling for a week, Jeez. whatever, whatever. And when mm-hmm. you get back home, you should get like another x-ray, MRI, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I, I was like, all right, so with the sling, what do I do? Like, when do I take it off? He said, when you're sleeping, when you're in the shower, if you get in the water. So I was like, all right, but I can get in the pool. He was like, that's fine. Like, you should be trying to move your arm. Yes. So I'm in the pool. Therapy. Right. So I'm in the pool. It's hot. It's my vacation. I, you done fucked up the rest of my vacation. I mm-hmm. couldn't do nothing I was supposed to do. So I look up, and it's like some nigga with his camera. So, you know, naturally, I'm thinking like, oh, this nigga trying to be fresh. Like, what is he doing? Yeah, perv. Right. But then I'm looking, and he's getting different angles. And only me. So then a couple comes over to me like, excuse me, you know that that man is filming you. And then he had like the name of the hotel on the back of his shirt. And I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers is tripping. So I call my homegirl. She a lawyer. She like, yo, you need to approach him. I'm like, you know he gonna act like he don't speak English. Yeah, he don't know nothing. You know what I mean? And it's just crazy. (laughs) Like, like wax. I just wish... I the trip wasn't there, but all these people are dying from there. It's like 10 people that died so far. What is it? Is that liquor? So I did see something on Instagram where they took like a bottle of Ciroc and she yeah. was and poured it in a cup uh-huh. and mixed something else. And they said they're mixing it with these two things. I don't want to like get the name wrong because it's two yeah. things they're mixing the liquor with to make it, I guess, seem like real liquor and it's cheaper. Yeah. And um, I used she, to do that. She stir it, stir it, stir it. And it was turning hard like plastic. Yikes. Like it looked like ice cubes, but it was like plastic. No, I used to do that. I used to when I used to throw parties. I used to get like the old, like the, um, like the Captain whatever bottles, and I used to get the um, some rock bottles. And I used to pour that in there, like the twelve dollar bottles, and I used to put all the old, like a the, Captain Morgan. Yeah, it's old, old shit, and I used to put it in there, all the other bottles. But I never poisoned nobody. It was just cheap ass liquor. After they take two shots, they like woo and all that type of shit, and they drunk anyway. They just keep giving me another shot. I, all the bottles just go. Who the fuck does that? And who believes that that is what it is? When you put pineapple juice and cranberry juice and all that type of shit, then we used to hustle the bottles. You was jogging people. No, I wasn't. Cranberry juice. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah. So, okay, you need to move to DR because that's what it seems like they're doing to nah, people. Nah, I don't like that. That's really... DR was always like a, a, a marriage man... Like, dream to go there with your boys and, like, every time you think your wife cheating on you, you get to like, just get like, fuck all the women you want to and tell her that you ain't doing that. You tired, you just want to go home and go to bed. It's not that no more. It's, like, a 67-year-old, a 49-year-old, 41-year-old, a 63-year-old. Um, one woman says she drank out of the mini bar, which I would not do after I saw this. Yeah. And um, she said there was bleach inside of her, inside of the... It tastes like bleach, and she was, like, throwing up blood and all this shit. And, like, I'm telling you, like, everybody came home not feeling well. Like, I will say, I don't know what's going on over there, but I would chill out. They fucking a dream up, man. You go over there and have threesomes all day. That's all it's really, DR is really about for us. (sighs) Then they shot Big Poppy. Man, they shot Big Poppy. What the fuck is wrong with y'all over there? I think I think it's actually the liquor or the stuff that they on. Made they shoot all Big drinking Poppy. that shit. Yeah, they all drinking and fucking up. Cause when you just shoot Big Poppy, something got to be fucking wrong. Y'all on some drugs. The crazy thing is, like, they trying to say that those people weren't trying to kill Big Poppy, that they were trying to kill. Because y'all know what's going on with David Ortiz. He got shot in Dominican Republic. Oh, that's what I thought you were talking about. That's the same guy, Yeah, right? David Ortiz. See, oh, I'm yeah. just doing Please. the backstory. Right. So he got shot in, um, you know, Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. But at first they were saying it was a plot to kill him. It was an $8,000 bounty on his head. But now they're saying that it was actually his friend that was sitting next to him that they were trying to kill. Why? And um, so allegedly he told on one of his family members. I guess it was his cousin. And... Um, the guy that got shot with Big Poppy, he actually told on... I think the guy's name was Vasquez. His cousin's name was, like, Vasquez. Mm-hmm. And he, like, told on him. And this was, like, 11 years ago or something crazy like that. But this nigga has been trying to kill him forever, I heard. Yeah. So, he got shot instead. Which is, just seems like that's not true. 
because 11 people were arrested in um, a Man, plot to kill him. Yeah. So it's just like, how did 11 people get it wrong? Then what's up with all this? Oh, he was sleeping with somebody's wife and all the other type That's of That's why shit. you can't believe the they, news. They out of so control. Many why y'all doing that to me? That's why I said allegedly. Damn, because y'all motherfucking made me stop fucking these, gir- these girls because I'm like, damn, these niggas probably watching these chicks. You know what I'm saying? Well, the two girls were fighting over him in the ah, hospital. That's going to happen. Of course, you got plenty of women. Come on. They were trying to say one of them was the drug lord's girlfriend. So we don't yeah. know whether he's paying people off to say it's not him. We don't know what's going on. Yeah. The news is um kind of funny. But anyway. I will not listen to the internet. Don't listen to anybody anymore, yeah, except okay. for us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about LeVar Ball. Come on, get right. Okay, so he was on first take, and yeah. um he was talking to the personality, Molly. How do you say her last name? Molly Karim? Okay, so she's married to... Jalen Rose. She's married to Jalen Rose. She's married to Jalen Rose? <laughs> yes. The lady Molly? Molly, yeah, from yeah. ESPN. Okay. So he was on, like I said, um, LeVar Bell, Ball, sorry, LeVar Ball Peace. was on first take to talk about his son getting traded. Peace. Mm-hmm. And this is what he said to her. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. Let's stay oh focused Lord. here. All right. um, that's just this guy. He's the drunk uncle who just, that's just what he is. He can't even help that. He just always at home in his backyard with his slippers on. That's who he is. So I agree. That's his personality. Everybody Period. knows that that's his personality. But, um, you know, as we all know, he's married. Yeah, I don't think he'd be like, oh, I want to eat your pussy. Did like, you wanna... think that that was like a, you know, this, you, sexist comment? Nah, I just think that he, that's just this guy. I think that's a character that he always played. And, and I always say that the person who they always big you up and try to make you be is the same thing that's going to fucking take you down. And the reason why they take him down now, because his, his son is not one of the top guys in the league no more. Right. Yeah, when he was coming out, everybody was all talking about him in L.A. It didn't happen for him. He got traded. Now they're like, man, get rid of this motherfucker. Who's the next guy that we can sit there and put the news around? Because this guy, they they think that he did some bulls. That wasn't shit. He did way worse shit before. Well, Jamal Hill, she stuck up for Molly in her defense and said that ESPN should not allow him on. And they actually banned him from ESPN, allegedly. I don't think Um, that was that crazy. I think... See, it's really hard for me because I like to always be on the side of the women. Okay. But I do feel like if he said something like that to Stephen A. Smith, it would have been nothing Peace. wrong. I just feel like um, sometimes we got to stomp with the big dogs. Yeah, and I know like on. a motherfucker like me, I'm going to have a quick comeback. You're in I the think, locker room. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it made it bad that she didn't have a comeback. And then it kind of like... That was just it. Like, yeah. it made it awkward. You would have made it boom. And yeah, then, I would have yeah. definitely killed him. Like, Early. he would have been like, you could switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> I would have been like, a nigga, you going to crash into a wall. Early. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I get it all the time, LaVar. Play with that one. She just got to be quicker than that. Yeah, she ain't ready. That's all I it was. And I don't feel like he was trying to be disrespectful. I feel nah. like, like you said, he was being himself. And I'm not knocking Damn. her. With slippers on. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not knocking her, but I'm not like I don't think that, you nah, know. That's him. That's just my my opinion. It's his but... son going down, and I don't even know if he's going down. His son, they might make that make they might do his thing. Watch when his son and them, because they got kind of a good team. So if his son and them go over there and he's about to win the championship, they're gonna be riding and pop. They're gonna be the camera's gonna be on the pop face again. Right. Pop just sit to the side and say fuck them. Try to get to just go and keep on um, building your thought, league. I thought he barely. Which one doesn't fuck with his dad like that no more? I hope all of them do. That's kind of. I mean, not not like that. But wasn't it a problem they had? Or am I tripping? Probably family stuff. I don't know. Happens. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Now I want to get into this because this went viral and this shit made me want to jump through the motherfucking phone. Talk to me. Um. The this little boy. He was in class. Yeah, man. How old do you think this little boy was? Mm, seven, six, seven. I don't even think he was that old. Yeah. Five, I would say five, yeah. six. You said, who's that eight? No. Let's see, let's see. Good afternoon, parents. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Shut the fuck hey, up. Hey, Not nice. No, thank you. No, thank you. You need to leave? No, bitch. Oh, 
Oh, he's he's yeah, he's come out. on, come on. You're going to be a trouble through society if you don't handle this now. We need to talk to you, young man. What in the world is going on? Scared Every straight. time I watch that, my face drop, like my mouth drops. What the fuck? Who is he listening to? His the parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? The nigga that jumped Whoa. up. He's like, you listening to me too much, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> She said, listen, do you I need know to how, leave? And, you and, do, in bitch. The hood, listen, in the hood, everybody know those households. I used to always know when you go down the street, look to the left, walking down the street, you're going to have a house where I know one of these dudes was beating his girl. Everybody know this guy was beating his girl for years, but I don't even know why we always thought that was okay. We didn't think it was okay, but we always knew, like, oh, they fighting in the street last night. They got drunk and fought in the street, and they walking down the street earlier during the day with the kids, walking down the street at the ice cream truck together. No. It happens all the fucking time. That's not okay. And, like, let me tell you something. These kids are getting out of motherfucking hand. They out of hand, but like, that's what they see at home. But not even just with the cursing. My fucking little niece, I, she had a graduation <laughs> yesterday. And when I tell you, I, I think I want to fight her. Wow. Like, she's just, I don't know what's wrong with these kids. They, they so grown. entitled. They so, um, wow. listen, She we had a dinner for her that we paid for. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. My mother stands up and she's like, I want to thank everybody. So I'm like, what are you standing up for? She need to be thanking everybody, yeah. right? I was like, get up and thank everybody. She like, please, no. <laughs> How old is she? she just graduated from high school. She's 17. Oh, yeah, yeah. She early. Yo, my nigga, I she thought early. I was going to... I was like... I automatically wanted to leave because the way that I am is like I do mad stuff for that little girl. Peace. So when she did that shit, it low key that was nothing. You see how he grabbed yeah, her? Yeah. I wanted to like choke them, slam yeah, her, no, I and know. I don't want to have to beat up yeah. my no, little niece like like That's... she a, 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 a chick in the street. I got beat up. I wanted to so bad. I got beat up. My brothers fought not too long ago in front of my mom. My mom came through with the belt. It's just what it is. Siblings always did that. That's not my sibling. That's my niece. And yeah, I want to beat still, her the fuck my up. My whole family, when they all cousins, family, uncles, that's that. That's she did, like, up. these kids know. is crazy. Like, first it starts with this. Then yes. it starts with them thinking. No, that's juvenile right there. If that don't stop that right there, that's going to be juvenile and then have. He's going to jail. Yeah, he's going to definitely be going to jail throughout his life. Now, you don't want that for Now, look man. at this here. Bad bitch with tattoos. Is that what you want? Yeah. Now, I want who are you? No. Say, Mom, look, I was riding a front seat the whole way home. <laughs> Bad bitch. See that, like, is that, is that a song it's not that they cute, hit? It's not, I don't want the kids. Listen, listen. They right now, even the, even the females that I deal with or whatever, if they got kids, they take their kids' tablets at night. They don't let them keep it at night. And you, you shouldn't. Yeah, you don't. You take the internet off, and when you think that you might be hearing something crazy or bad music, you control them. Like, oh, I don't know. The internet keep going out. You got to figure this whole type of thing right. out for the kids. No, that's it's, true. Through, through years, it's, you wonder, and then you get older, you be like, that's what the fuck my parents been doing, hitting the fucking internet shit. <laughs> Stop it, my shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you about to get into the fucking jerking off, and then next thing you know, click. But I don't think that's going to stop them because they learn stuff at school. I know. If you got an older brother or sister, you're going to learn stuff from them. I remember that fucking one tape. I used to wait till my brother go to... um go to work, and I used to go up under the couch and I like, grab it and put it in there real quick. It's real fuzzy. And I used to look at the little titties and stuff like that, and I'd take it back off. Sometimes I used to do it for like 10 seconds because I was scared. See, that's the thing. We do got to put some fear in these little motherfuckers' hearts because yeah. I think when I was younger, I would hear my mom and them talking crazy, yeah. but I knew better than to be around them. Like, bitch, fuck no this shit way. and titties. Come and, on. And what the fuck? Fuck I get a drunk bitch. nigga down the street cursing. I would never say that in my mama's house. You say house. nothing. The worst I ever said when I was younger was the word whore. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Still so I, my godfather, right, used to be like mad funny. He was like a Martin type of yeah, character, peace. right? So he would like see a girl that was dressed like 
ass out, whatever. He used to be like, she's a whore. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like as a joking yeah, thing. Please, but I was like it. a little kid, right? Yeah. So he would do it every single time yeah. so that he would see, and like we would see a girl, he'd be like, what's that? Like to me, and I'd be like, she's a whore, right? <laughs> so then one time I was around my mother yeah. and I was like, mom, she's a whore. And she was like, what the fuck? Like she was pissed. <laughs> but my godfather was like, yo, I said she could say it or whatever. Like, don't like be mad at her. <laughs> so like that was kind of funny. But yeah. like cursing at like somebody that is I, I authority still don't say, figure. I still don't say lie around my mom. Lie? I don't say lie. My mom don't raise no liar. She don't don't even say that word in the house. That's a curse in my mama house. I felt bad because I curse in front of my mother. No. Now. I, I never curse towards toward or at my mother, but if I'm on the phone, I would still curse. No. She listens to the podcast. I get it, mama. I don't curse. That's not me. Sorry, mom. You know, I'm, I curse like a sailor. <laughs> Sometimes I, I wish never. I didn't. Even on the radio, it's super hard for me because yeah. sometimes I just stay quiet because everything I have to say has These curses in it. So I just be like, I'm going to just let these motherfuckers talk because clearly I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Mad let it out. Let it out here. Like, Why are you so quiet today? I'm like, man, I got nothing this but curses to say. Bush. So I'm going to just shut the fuck up. What they say, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, shut bitch, the shut the fuck, fuck up. up. So that's what I do sometimes. That's why I talk all the time. Because I always got something nice to say. All right, um, we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to go pay some bills, and we're going to come right the fuck back. Wax, I know you kept telling me I smelled so good earlier. Uh, Good fart smell? Shut up. We're going to put your girlfriend on. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, because support for today's show comes from Scentbird. Nice. With Scentbird, I found a way to mix up my fragrances routine without breaking the bank. So, you know, whether it's Tom Ford, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, or Versace, Scentbird.com keeps me smiling so good month after month. Unlike you, Wax. I stink. You do stink. I think Scentbird would be perfect for you. Okay, so basically, Scentbird is a luxury fragrance subscription service for perfumes and colognes. So you might need perfumes because that's for bitches. Yeah, I like the cologne. You can simply choose the cologne or perfume you want to try from more than 400 designer brands. Wow. They'll send you a 30-day supply. You need, like, a 100 days of a... Are you one of those people that, like, spray the whole bottle on, or how does it work? I, I really actually use them just, to, like, to cover up the weed smell in the car when the cops pull me over. <laughs> if that's a good smell, they, they let me go. It's really good. Well, that's dope, because you'll get Bring 120 on, sprays, Ooh. enough to apply more than four times daily for a month. And with an exclusive offer just for our listeners, you could get 50% off of your first month today. Nice. Get that. That's only seven fifty for your first fragrance. Just go to scentbird.com slash bully and a beast and use my code bully and a beast for fifty percent off of your first month. Get your phone out right now, Wax. Let me get that. Let me get that. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. It's S C E N T Bird like yourself dot com slash bully and a beast. Offer code bully and a beast to get your first perfume or cologne just for seven fifty. Sign on and smell amazing. Hot. And like wax. Early. <laughs> anyway, Savage News. I think yeah. I should have just jumped in with Savage News. Yeah, well, let me hear something. Okay. So, attempting to smuggle live birds in hair rollers. A Connecticut man was arrested after police caught him trying to do that inside of plastic hair rollers on a flight from Ghana. Why couldn't he just buy birds when he got here? But, huh? You could have helped him with this. <laughs> Y'all fam, I got you. Go to Smith Family Farms, LLC. Got your back, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Well, he you was got planning... all the birds you need. This is the thing. I don't think it's going to work that way. Because he was planning on selling these birds for $3,000 each. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't got those birds. You ain't got these holla birds. Holla at me. I need to holla at you then. This is like better than drugs because Bird it's really born. only birds, birds, not like a bird. But what do these birds do for you, though? They probably cure like something. It has to be something. It says, oh, guess what the fuck it's used for? This right. is amazing. Let me hear it. Yo, police ain't shit, because why are you going to take them? Let me hear it. They're fucking used for people to compete in, well, to have people to have them compete in bird singing competitions. Bird singing competitions. Oh, okay. 
To like them on um, Tweet Little Bleak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's them on the beginning of the song. They're famous. <laughs> well, the total. That? Frankie Lyman? The total sale of the, I think they're called Finches. Finches. I need to get me some Finches. So the total would have equaled up to over a hundred grand. Why are you fucking with this dude? So who sold them? Somebody sold them. Somebody told on him. To me. <laughs> no, Somebody but, sold him out. No, but I'm saying, though, where the birds go? They just let him go in the wild? That's the fucking fucked up. police stole it. That's what I'm saying. So they had to sell it to somebody. They just got these birds and they did like, where'd they go? So it says basically that the Guyanese finches are used in the competitions because they have better singing voices than American than their American counterparts. The singing competitions are mostly held in guess where? Brooklyn. Where at? Can we go to one? <laughs> and Queens. Yo, can T Diddy, can you find out find out no, where No, they just fucked shit? it up. What you talking about is over. That's all the ones? That's the good ones. We don't want to see the yeah, American yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. The guy in these ones is that's the like having ones. A, that's like going to the opera and seeing the skinny lady singing. <laughs> she don't got it like the fat That's lady. like going to the reggae competition and seeing the white lady win it. Yeah, <laughs> with, the, with the fucking twerk contest. I hate that fucking shit. <laughs> Like, who <laughs> fucked her into the rhythm? <laughs> Yo, I hate you. <laughs> so they caught him at JFK. Damn, JFK. They be fucking shit up to a JFK. Yeah, they do. Then they be stealing out of people's bags. Yeah, but thank God for never stealing out of mine. Okay, so a fake cop accidentally pulls over a real cop. <laughs> yeah. How dumb would you have to be, Can we see bro? that? Can we see that? So the dude oh, was 23 amazing. years old. He turned on his fake <laughs> cop light while trying to pull over a detective who was in an unmarked car. Amazing. Guess where he's from? Jersey. No, the detective was from Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, what's that? <laughs> it's the funniest name place ever. <laughs> what, like Ku Klux Klan? Yes, that's exactly where the Ku Klux Klan was uh, uh-huh. discovered. So um, the detective quickly realized the man wasn't an officer. Ah, uh, why he say his badge number or something? And put on his rail lights and siren to pull over the fake cop who was driving a Jeep. <laughs> this guy is a fucking bonehead. <laughs> you fucking idiot. What was you on? Cocalinas. Cocalinas. Early. Um. Mm. My main man, Wax. He called me Vax. You know what you say, Wax? Wax. Vax with a V. Where is this happening at? Where's Rancho Cucamonga? California, Jersey. right? Down London. London. I think it's California, right? Yeah. Ain't that where Friday, um, yeah, where they were oh, yeah. the next Friday? Um, but anyway, yeah, he went to jail. So, uh, but what's the fucking joy of just pulling people over? You trying to rob them? An Arizona man beheads roommate's dog as she moves out. I feel like he didn't have the other half of the rent. Because why else would you be so angry? (laughs) (laughs) He he did what? He beheaded the dog. My nigga, if somebody touched Monster Monster... I would lose my I'll come beat the mind. shit out of who you. Thank you. Yeah, I got you Thank back. Thank you. Because you know I love those. I got a couple of animals out there, you know what I'm saying? This sick fuck. Yeah, so he's yeah, 21. On. I know, piece Even, of shit. I seen that in Frankie Lyman when he had the fucking... Yeah, um, the dog and the he, dog, dropped he dropped it. He dropped it. I was crying. I'm not going to lie. I cried at that part Yo, of the movie. Certain things you don't fuck with. Just like you don't fuck with a man's car, don't fuck with the late the girl's dog. The dog, dog, right. Leave that shit alone. She, I he licks her fucking you. pussy when you're not there. That's like, not he's true. Your, he's like your fucking your best friend, too. If you know a girl that lets their dog lick their pussy, you're the most nasty. Then why you get a boy dog? What? <sighs> y'all girls. Yeah, of course y'all would never let nobody know. Ew. So you let, if you had a nope. girl dog, you would let her nope. lick your dick? No. Never. So why the fuck would you say that? Because I know some certain girls be like, yeah, Nobody like that. does that, Wax. That's why dudes like always like girls that got dogs. If I see a girl that got a dog, I'm like, Oh, she get it. This nigga don't even look like he feel bad. So he's 21 years old. He's from Arizona. So he was arrested for mutilating and beheading his roommate's dog as she moved out of the home they shared mm. in the Phoenix suburb. His name is Jose Meza. Yes, I'm And um, his roommate owed rent money to his mother, who owns the <laughs> home in the city of Buckeye. Buckeye. So the man's roommate told police... <laughs> She lost track of her dog as she moved out her belongings, and she saw him trying to sneak a box onto her truck. Damn! No! That nigga this is dude. heartless. Yeah, ruthless motherfucker, The roommate boy. opened the box to discover the headless dog Ooh. inside. He was like, here, bitch, take your dog, too. Uh, 
What the ah. fuck? That sounds like the relationship went bad. Like she, it's a pussy is leaving. Like they used to fuck and she left. It's a little bit more than just owing rent money. You can't. That mean everybody owe your mom rent money. If she been in this business for a long time, every person who owe her money, you going to behead their fucking dog. You want to hear something really even weirder? Yeah, I'm here. So okay, it says she called. Um, she called the police, but when they got him into uh, custody. He told them that he killed other animals around his neighborhood, including a cat that he drowned. Mm. He was booked on suspicion of animal cruelty stemming That's from it. the killing of the dog. He's also booked for a misdemeanor assault for attacking another inmate after he was booked in jail. So, uh, something clearly is wrong with this guy. Yeah, they need to take this nigga to the hospital. Or tell him to holler at Wax. I got his back. He need to get beat the fuck up real I bad. Holler right? at him. Just put me in. I put him. Put me in the cell. And I got his back real quick. I'm saying I like to have tough guys like that. Why would take you take some steam off? Yeah, you a get bitch. Get off too. Let me holler at you. You doing shit to innocent animals? Yeah, let me holler at you. I, He's I a hold clown. you now. I never mind that. I never. T- I never bring that down. You know I'm what disgusted. Saying? Yeah. Um, let's just switch gears totally to mm-hmm. our favorite part of the show, yeah. Black Excellence. So, Missy Elliott, she was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. So, Lizzo and DeBrat perform. Queen Latifah did an introduction, and she also got a special special message from Michelle Obama. Mm-hmm. So, Missy had a 10-minute speech. So um, she basically said, I'm thankful every time I come up to a podium, even with all the works I've done, I don't know. And and I'm assuming it's just God. I don't know why I'm here. I want to say one thing to the writers, to the upcoming writers, do not give up. We all go through writer's block. Sometimes you just have to walk away from a record and come back to it. But don't give up because I'm standing here and this is big for hip hop too. Um, what's your favorite Missy Elliott song? Um, the one where she had all that uh, all that uh, different colors, and she was blowing up and with the air balloons. I can't stand the rain. <sighs> like I love it's that song. Window. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and Timberland always a lot of a lot of her. Oh, Tim, her and Timberland was like beat me nine one one was one of my favorite Monsters. songs. She had a bunch of dope songs. Um, I actually just seen. Am I tripping or did Cardi B win Songwriter of the Year for the ASCAP? Um, she's getting a lot of backlash on that because she's actually admitted before to not writing some (laughs) of her records. So, um, some people are saying the writers deserve it. Some people are saying she didn't deserve it at all. They're saying there's people like Missy Elliott because she's the first woman to ever get it. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that there's people like Missy. They even said Nicki Minaj that um, have, she's had like a 10 year long career. I, but but even the people that's sitting there writing her rhymes, would, if they give that to let um, Cardi get the, uh, get the glory, I think they'll get a bigger bag from that. Right. Them getting the credit for it right now, probably going to be like a little, little fart. You know what I'm saying? That little, that little, that little fart that just come out a little bit that don't really smell. Right. If Cardi uh-huh. get that shit, it's going to be a big ass fart with a little bit of shit in it. Well, some people were saying that it basically made like a mock. It's like making a mockery of the game and stuff like that. Really? I do feel like that is crazy that Missy never received one. Yeah, that's and wild. that Cardi would be the first woman. Like, what about Lauren Hill? She has some pretty epic records. Amazing. I'm just confused at Amazing. why you know, but I'm not hating. You know, congratulations to Cardi yeah, doing something. Still. She's doing something. Because I mean, it, it could have been either her or it could have been like Little Zan. And I think I'd rather her than like somebody like a little Zan. Yeah, you know that's what, what I'm mean? saying. Some little dude who just peeled up and he just get the flow with his hands, his eyes closed, just writing shit. <laughs> and don't even know what the fuck he's saying. But exactly. It makes all the sense of the world because he just got a gift. Nigga ain't never write down shit. Nobody wants to see this guy. This guy. Nobody want to see this guy. It's better to put Cardi up there and receive that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, congratulations to Wendy Williams. Yo, what up? So she's receiving a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's going to be in 2020. Um, I also believe 50 Cent is getting a star. Oh, congrats. Um, who else? Dr. Phil. It was another yes, black congrats. person that matters really Dr. a Dr. Phil lot. Black? No. But, you know, we know, us black people know who he is. Oh. It was a couple people on there. I was like, I don't know who the fuck this bitch Dr. is. Dr. Phil so. Black. But it was another black person on there. All right, dope. I said 50 Cent and Wendy Williams, yeah. so another black person. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to find another black person. 
Nah, there was somebody else. There's another. I know we yeah. leaving somebody out as an actor. I can't think. Oh, um, uh, I, I always say his name wrong. From um, Moonlight. Marsha La. Marsha Ali. Dope. So he got one too. Dope. So, um, Dope. I like this. Okay, so Netflix says that your favorite movie, Silence of the Lambs, yeah. <laughs> no, the series When They See Us oh, has been the most watched show in the U.S. since it premiered wow. on streaming services. Wow. So I think that's amazing because, you know, it brought a lot of awareness. Yeah. Um, Trump was even confronted and asked where he apologized. He said he's a fucking dickhead. He said they already admitted to it. I don't know why, <laughs> why you're even bringing this up. This guy makes me laugh so much, though. I can't lie. I'm not going to lie. Very entertaining, man. Very entertaining. Do you believe that he doesn't know what's going on and why he people know what's are... going on. So you don't think he knows His about when they totally see him? totally different. There's no way that he doesn't know. This nigga sits on Twitter all day and social media. You mean to tell me he don't know about when they I, see I, us I and he's in the movie? Listen, I get it, but his world is so fucking different. You know what you know? I hear a lot of shit. When do all dudes know, when you and your girl arguing, whatever else going out in the motherfucking world until you actually get your household right, we don't be paying attention to that shit. This nigga is on social media. He sees everything. He be arguing with people like Eminem. Yeah. Nigga, he's seen this shit. Everybody's like talking about this man. shit. Yeah, you don't think they'll be like, got sir? More, he got more than ADD. We he have a problem. Else. Sir, we have a problem. That ain't the problem they talk about. They talk about they about to blow fucking America up or the fucking aliens is coming. Okay. Um, who's on drugs? Obviously, it's Ooh, Wax. Please, let's get this. And we're going to get straight into it. Hot. Um, When they want to call up, what's the number to call, nigga? Call 347-679-6118. Okay, so um, any advice you need, we're yes. going to get y'all a topic right now. Yeah. And the topic is going to be... Huh, this is going to be a random one from something we ain't talk about, but I like uh, this topic. Yeah. Um, what age were you able to have your boyfriend or girlfriend in your room? Never. Never. Like no age at all? My mama came to college from one of my football games, and a chick thought she was staying over. My mama knocked on the door like, all right. Time it's to go, like, bitch. It's like 10, yeah, it's <laughs> like 10 o'clock. You know, he, I want him to get some sleep so you go to school in the morning. For real? Yes. I don't, like, I snuck, like, I had the same boyfriend all throughout high school. Yeah. So I Sorry snuck you, him. Buddy. Shut up. I snuck him in my room a couple times. Ew. Know what, I mean? what you was doing? I was Shut reading up. the Bible. But I would say that I would be scared to let my mother know at that, you know, when I was younger. Terrified. But my fucking sister, now, <laughs> her fast ass, on the other hand, had a whole nigga that move in with the fuck up. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking about. She was already she tried to get in court. They tried to catch her. She was out of high school though. Yeah, peace. But she was still a teenager. She was like 18, working at the mall, still so living in funny. my mother's house. Did you ever get caught doing the nasty? No, by my mother. You no, know, my brother got caught. I don't even see how my brother could even have sex anymore. I probably wouldn't even be able to get hard again. If my mom catches me actually having sex, no, my life is over. No, I've been I've been walked in on, but like my sister walked in on me having sex one time, and then my boyfriend's daughter walked in, and that was devastating. Jesus, that Lord. was. But we thought she was asleep. It was mad yeah, late. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I wanted to yeah. fucking throw the house. I don't away. even see what my brother was thinking about huh? right now. Yeah, the position was you in. I don't know. I, I was trying to like a bad position. Let's bad... just put it like that. A bad she position. She probably had her head back all enjoying the shit. Ew. Nigga, it was so it was like, ah like both me and him was just like yo, uh, yo, I remember I was smashing this dude girl one time right downstairs, and a dude came downstairs and said, Oh my fault, and went back upstairs. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know that that was his bitch getting fucked. No, he know his girl getting fucked. Nobody's doing that. <laughs> I promise. It would have been he like, knows. this is Mr. Big. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> I promise. I just, I, I, but every time I get caught, you, I don't know if y'all seen it on uh, um, The Brain Idiots. I got a cartoon that says, uh, uh, the dude walking in the room when I'm, um, Charlamagne said I was jerking off. No, I wasn't jerking off. I was smashing the girl from the back. And I didn't know. My boy told me to go upstairs and go into the room. I went into the room with the bed. I didn't know that was his roommate's room. 
So the other room ain't had no bed or nothing in there. He told me to go in that room. So I went in the room with the bed, smashing the girl from the back. And the dude walked into his room. But I'm like, I can't move. I can't pull out. He going to see my meat. But he just standing there like, you got to get out my lost? room. What the fuck is happening in this story? You don't see what's going on? No. Does anyone else? Everybody's saying no, bro. No, but I'm trying to finish the story about. Okay, like, finish. I didn't want the guy to see my meat. But that, what, that's why I what did the stand. room in the other room, and you thought it was his room and my room? No, and I'm your trying, room trying, and trying to tell you the guy. It was the guy's room. I went to the room. His roommate it was his roommate room. Okay. I went to my dude's house to smash a girl. He was like, okay. "Yo, go upstairs in the room." Okay. I went in a room that had a bed. Okay. But the room that had a bed was his room. Oh, he was room. trying to put you in a room with just like room. Yeah, it's a fucking room. That's what I'm like. You ain't got no fucking bed here. Come in here real quick. Smash the girl from the back, and the, um, the dude walked in his room and like stood there, like, "What the fuck is going on?" So I'm like, "Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, at least close the door, and get out." Oh nah, I would be mad as hell if I walked oh, into I'd be my mad crib and somebody was fucking in my room. I'd be mad as a motherfucker. Like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, no. But I but I'm now I'm here. I'm like, bro, close the door, yell at your dude downstairs until I can get dressed. I'm not gonna pull the dude just stand stood there the whole time. So I just like like what the fuck to do? Like I'm not pulling out with this dude right here, bro. Oh my god. You know what I'm Why saying? did he not close the door? I mean at That's that what point I'm you saying. gotta close the you door. You gotta close the door. Because y'all already mid fucked. We already in the fucking. Nah, but I probably would have been like, get the fuck out of my <laughs> But I can't move. I'm not letting you see my man, bro. Go back, go back over so wait, there. So you fucked in your your homeboy's room before, or have yeah. you no fuck that? You've let niggas fuck in your room before. I have came home and dudes is fucking in my room. Yes. What? Yes, my crib. Pl- plenty of time to get my dude. Like y'all got a girl. I was always a bachelor. So see, always... Diddy, you let somebody fuck in your room before in, in your, your bed? Crib? Hell not in my no. not in my bed. How you know? Nah, he, nah, come on. That's rules and shit. You let your dude use the crib, but he know they're going to sink in the bathroom or the fucking couch. And not even all the way on my couch. I got like a fucking couch you know not to go on. Go on the couch that everybody else fucking sit on. Y'all let people fuck on y'all bed before? Not in the bed. No, right? Nigga, you want a, nasty see, motherfucker. Nah, I did the bed and I said not the bed three times. Why they, so why they even in your room if they no, not they, in your they bed? No, they come to my crib. I got a crib. Go in the bathroom. bathroom. That, 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 Jesus Christ. Didn't I just say that? But you said your room. Yo, if, they, if I got like a room, even a hotel room, I'd like get somebody the key. He know not to go in that bed. I got to sleep there. Go so in the why he can't bathroom. get a room with his I bum ass? This... If you can't get a room, you shouldn't be getting no pussy. Man, my, a lot of my dudes, they know I'm going out of town. Like, yo, wax him, get the key or something. I right, throw you the key. Just don't mess fuck my shit up. Yeah, niggas is... Yeah, man, come on. This guy got the whole, you know what I'm saying? Who, Life. Who's on drugs? Where are we? Come on. Give me some people. Like, yo, I got this shorty real quick. You gonna be home? Nah, he know the fuck on the couch. Yeah, that's my people. See, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You're not fucking on the bed. You can see that. Come on. For sure. Okay, so so we just going to make this a topic here. It's going to yes. be, are you letting your peoples fuck in your bed? Like, Not your, bed. Your room. Fuck in the room. Not the bed. Are you letting any of your peoples fuck in your Not room? Not my brother. Y'all remember I, one time I fucked on my brother's bed, right? And I made the girl bleed. And these, he had some expensive um, sheets. Well, he said they were expensive, but he's... Uh, whatever. And, um... They had blood on the shit, so I rolled the sheets up. And he came home like, yo, where the fuck my sheets at? I'm like, nah, I think I'm the man. Y'all got some pussy. He's like, yo, you fucked on my bed, nigga? <laughs> like, yo. So that that shut that down real fast. I'm thinking I got some pussy. That was going to tell so him about it. So you fucked on somebody's bed before. Yeah, that's not cool. And that's known from right there. He looking at me with the face like, bruh, I got to put my face like you put some <laughs> nasty ass on my shit. Oh, man. That's kind of wild, fam. Who's on drugs? Early. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who, boo, boo, boo. It's on drugs. I hear something. I heard a little something. There, there you go. go. Yo, what's good with you? You on drugs? Oh, shit, I'm on. No way. Yes, Yo, you what's are. up? What's good what's with up, you? What's up, boy? Peace. Where you from, um, bro? Nigga, what the fuck am I? Made out of glass, nigga? You don't, you don't speak? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, shit. What's up, lawyer? Nah, you know what? Matter of fact... I fuck with Wax more. I feel like you fuck on him way too much. Mm-hmm. Fuck on him. I never <laughs> fucked on Wax. That never happened. No, no, punk, punk on him. Punk on him. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> okay. No, punk, no, but I got, I need, I need advice from Wax because it's like some shit that I'm 
I've been literally. I feel like he's been through. Talk to me. <laughs> um, there's this older woman at work, mm-hmm. and she's like bad, but she's like, oh, like bro, she could legit be like my mom's friend, and she like she has a daughter. She has a daughter older than me. Okay. But like every time I'm working, she'll be like trying to look at my fucking dick print and shit. Like at at work. Welcome so, to like, the I life. So like I noticed, and I like, what happened? I said, welcome to the life. Oh yeah. 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 So then. When I catch her, like, I'll stare at her and we'll lock eyes. Like, she does it, like, in a flirty way, but I don't back down. So we, we've done it for, like, 30 seconds and shit. But I don't want to, you know, make it awkward. And, like, how would I approach her about it? Listen, man. Just do what I did with my mom for, friend fuck me. Uh, just find a reason to go to her house to move the mattress or the couch or a TV. Act like you're a handyman like my other brothers do. They nasty as hell. They always a handyman in my family. Why? Because he's in there fucking the lady with the robe on. What? Yeah. This nigga gives the worst advice. This Wait, is God. great. You got to always find something that she needs. It's your mom's friend. What she needs? She needs you to fucking help her turn no, the mattress no, she's over. Not, no, not he's my not mom's her, friend. He said she's, she's, like, old, she's old enough to old me. Enough. Oh, still. Fuck her old. That's how much money she'll give you. Listen, she'll probably pay. That's great. You want the older think, woman. Is it to make it worse? Listen, listen, to make it worse, her husband works oh. where I work, but in the night shift. In the night shift, though, the night shift. I know that, that changes a lot. How do you know she likes you? Yeah, no one... locking eyes and looking at his meat print. What is this like, whole locking yeah, like, eyes okay. thing? Yeah, I, I don't know if you... I need a no, blatant no, sign. No, like, like did she just, touch no, your like, arm? Huh? Yeah, yeah, she does that flirting. Oh, yeah, she, she be touching on you like, and shit? Flirting. I think we know when people flirt with us a little bit. But listen, but she... No, but she not. started by looking at like at my crotch area, like while I'd be working, like, like I've caught her multiple times doing that. So then I would play along with it, and I would like when she was looking, like I would be extra and like you know fix my nuts or whatever, and she would just stay looking. So like I know okay. that she's like okay. curious about it. Just see if she want to give you some head. So that's what I'm saying. Like how to what happened? Listen, I know what to do. This is hot, All right? I want you to sit there and write a note and say, do you want to give me head? Yes or no. Or write two and write, uh, write. This nigga uh, gonna get you fired. <laughs> Was she a boss or something? <laughs> Was she a boss or something? Nah, nah, she's not. Oh, she's uh, not? Uh, oh, oh, okay, shit. so who cares? Hell yeah, bro, go hard. Yeah. Or tell us how fucking looking at you you are. Is she making you hard? Is she I, making you hard, she, right? See, I would have <laughs> just been like, what are you looking at? That's corny. That's some girl. What shit. are you looking at, though? Because she keeps looking. Yeah, no, that's, that's no, it's not corny. You know what's corny? Uh, but that's why, but that's calling a good about thing, a bitch that you do like, scared the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, do she make you hard, bro? Do she make you hard when she do that? No, I get myself hard so she could see. Oh, so she don't even get you hard. That's gonna be a bad time if you can't even. Get, if she can't even get you hard. Now I had a old, one time I went to Myrtle Beach and it was a fat girl and she pulled her titty out and I was surprised I got hard off that big ass titty. Why? You know? I thought you like fat white bitches. Nah, stop it. You say that I'm brilliant idiots all I, the time. No, Charlemagne say that dumb. No, shit. Charlemagne. Yeah, you, you told Charlemagne that I was nah. there the first time you told him. She's a liar. And I've seen some of the bitches. Listen, well, <laughs> she's lying. Uh, listen, the titty came out, and then I actually got hard, and I was like, what the fuck? I got hard off that shit? So if that older lady gets you hard, go smash that shit, man. See if you get a couple bucks out of that shit. They definitely pay how old they are. Can you beat her husband? <laughs> That's my only question. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, well, then you yeah, good. Yeah, you got to wonder. If you want a girl and you could beat her boyfriend listen, up, that's, that's your it. girl. Like, I, I say no more. <laughs> <laughs> say less, nigga. That's, that's kind of your girl, then. All right, you boring, bye. Yeah, but, so peace, if she curse me, oh, hold on. So if she curse me, if she curse me, can I, like, fucking a oh, file complaint against her? No, no. Hang up on corny. this nigga. See what I mean? No, I told y'all to hang up. And bro, then you he know what you want to do? Works. You just need to jerk off. Stay away from our woman before you do that to them. Are you a virgin? He got to be for saying that. No, nah, no. Nah. You don't do that to our woman, bro. Let them do that to us. You a virgin? No, nah, it was a, it was a joke. It was a joke. Relax. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he like, I'm not a virgin. I ate pussy four times. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Hello. Yeah. What's good? Hello. What's yeah. Good? Hello. Yo. What's good? Yo, what's good, y'all? Hey. Good. Big fan of big fan of you guys' podcast. Appreciate it. Thank oh, yeah, you. Yo, 
very gorgeous. Thank you. And 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 wax, thank God you're so thick because your brain sometimes the shit you be saying, bro. So thank small, God you was bro. able to get the security job because nothing else I think would have for you. That's all I got, brother. That's all I got. That's all and I can do. He has nah, a chicken for nah, nah. Shut up. You ain't gotta tell this, this, this you ain't got you ain't gotta tell this young this young smart guy nothing. How you doing, brother? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm good, bro. I just I, I was calling to reach out because I know last time I listened to all the time and I know <laughs> L'Oreal, be intrigued by, you know, some of the stories. So me and my wife, we married now. We met actually on Instagram, like, like 2012. Really? And mm-hmm. just so, yeah, we met on Instagram. We end up still messing around on the first date. And all these years later, we actually still here together with two kids, happily married. That, but I can't I believe that. Married. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah. then you said but. So let's yeah, hear the something. but. No, 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 but everything is good. Everything is happy. Ha- everything is happy with us. I was going to weigh in on what I was talking about earlier. Perfect. I was talking about, um, you know, smashing other people's beds. Yes. I actually, I actually, I actually lost my virginity on my boy's brother's bed. We yeah. end up cutting school. <laughs> he, uh, we end up cutting through the project. He's like, yo, he had the fat ones. My boy always loved the big things, kind of like wax. Yeah. But he, he liked the big black ones. So, yeah, so it definitely, definitely happens in our, in our community, especially because most of the time, you can't have company anyway. Exactly. So you you always go to the dude house who have all the crabs and have all the, everybody fuck on that same Crabs. Thing. Because I, 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 I kind of, when I was able to, you know, think about doing it myself, I lost my virginity actually with this girl, and um, it was on my boy's bed. Chap, you remember that, chap? Upstairs in the attic? Yeah. So you did fuck on someone yeah, else's bed other than before your brother. I had some young boy you shit. You told me about only now. your brother. I said my you... cribs. Right now, if I get my dude my crib, I'm going out of town. If he he know not to go on my bed. We getting all the real truth out of you today. Young, Let's rest, so... young wax. Yo, so... y'all, y'all fucked on somebody mattress before back in the day. Okay, so Come on, has, have, um, has anybody ever fucked on your bed, though? Have you ever let somebody use your bed? On my bed? Per se, keep nah. it real, keep like it in my room, if nah, in my room, yeah, because yeah. of the situation that I was on the bed with my boy, with some shorty I was messing with, and my boy was there too. It was a little creepy, little orgy type shit, but never actually on my bed. But I definitely, definitely been on a couple. Hold of on, orgy, bed. orgy is only four people in the room. Uh, orgy, orgy, got, uh, orgy guess, means a bunch of people fucking at the same yeah, time. Yeah, more than tw- oh, more than right, four though. Right, right. Four, no, four could work. Right, four, four is four an orgy. Four is an orgy. Oh, I orgy all the time. Now, now, if two people fucking at the same time and then they switch. Yeah, you switching. That's an orgy. No, no, no. I mean, he, I'm, I'm saying, I don't, did y'all switch? I think he had his and he, he had her. He you, had he his. Didn't, you didn't get to the plot of his motherfucking story. All right, my fault, bro. I know y'all switched. We we did we did we did okay. actually like because both of them both of them were like flies obviously. Five, six, if you fucking so, on the me, same I, bed, I, you I, might as well switch. Like, what the fuck are y'all in the same bed for? If y'all not switching and doing uh, all that shit, you go in the bathroom and you go in the living room. Bed. What the fuck is y'all in the same nah, bed? No, nah, nah. Who was in the same bed? Is that I was in the bed and I had a little ottoman. He was just over there near the ottoman and near the closet. No, but you said y'all was switching. So you said y'all was switching. So you you're making my point clear. I'm telling Wax what would be the point of being on the same bed if y'all not switching. In my opinion. Yeah, well, we all know Wax is different. Yeah, Yeah, Wax is is different. different. Bro, you the one who over here sounding dumb as hell. Wax, you can't. Don't do that. Both of y'all sound dumb. That's why I shut up. I was like, well, you know what? How your dumb time, nigga? Go ahead. Fuck that. Nah, but thanks for calling and weighing in on the topic, yeah, though. Good job, buddy. Absolutely. I'll be good. I Blessings. survived. You didn't Blessings. hang up on me too yeah, quick. No, and I'm and right, I'm impressed by this Instagram marriage. Like, I didn't, I'm be scared of people job, on Instagram. Though. Good job. Because they always, like, send now, pictures of their dick. We talk. <laughs> We had talked for like three months and we actually got a little, we started talking a little more frisky. Then we met up. I took her to sea in Brooklyn. And then a year later, she was pregnant with our first daughter. And now we have a Wow, congratulations. God bless him. I wish y'all many, many moons together. More kids, bro. Keep having more kids. Shit. You know how hard it is to find a nah, real good baby mama? Nah, 
Hey, she tied her tubes. Mm-hmm. I made her tie her tubes because we very, very active. So if she didn't tie her tubes, I'd have had a whole Wu Tang. I right, just saying, <laughs> just to stop, to stop nothing in there. You can't be nothing in there anyway. Crazy. They, I, I know a girl. They say yeah, well, keep I, nothing in there. Crazy, that pussy starts smelling. Yeah, BV. Yeah, chill yeah, out. Yeah. You can't be doing that anyway, so you got to chill out anyway. But that's when he's <laughs> fucking someone else, too. <laughs> like, you get BV when he's fucking someone else and coming to you. All right, thanks for calling. All right, guy. You know, right, Rax, you you've had BV Bless. before. I don't even know what BV is, but thank God I ain't Bacterial got it. Bacterial vaginosis. Oh, oh, I think I did. I know. You told me. Yeah. Who's on drugs? Yeah. Wax, when are you ever going to fucking say it first? Okay, sorry. It was who's on drugs. <laughs> I wish I was on drugs. I'm in a hair salon right now. Yeah, word. You better uh, press that, press that weave, on. sis. <laughs> I ain't got no weave, sis. Not so yours. I'm saying, I'm saying the weaves you in there oh. pressing. Oh, you not working. You just getting your hair oh. done. Yeah, I'm getting my hair done. Oh, this is uh. the worst day to go to the hair salon. Yeah, it's empty out here. Oh, so you lit then. You good. All right. What's, what's <laughs> going on with you? Girl, I'm chilling and letting my baby go with my sister, so I'm just, you know, having a date for myself. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, you want to weigh in on this topic or you need some advice? She sound like she be letting a lot of girls use her room oh. house to fuck. You hear what this nigga saying about you? What? What? What you say, what? You sound like you be letting your friends fuck in your room, in your crib. You ever let one of your nah, friends fuck in your my crib? Friend, she... Yeah, she supposed to come in my little cousin room out in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you let them get down to your crib, like, girl, you better go in there. Yeah. I was like, nah, not in my bed, but you can go over there. Like, nah. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think girls let their I, friends I, I, do that more. You sent, you sent her to somebody else's bed that wasn't home? My little cousin, yeah. You ain't shit yeah, for that. Right <laughs> you ain't that. shit. No, I, 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 I broke a kid bed before. I, I, I broke a baby bed before. No, what are you doing in a baby bed, my nigga? No. Because we, she ain't want to fuck her bed. I can see him in the race car shit. <laughs> broke that shit. Oh, Wallace. That's fucked up, yeah, yeah. That was not fucked not up. That was I don't know. Up. I would feel like... Nah, they was out of town. You didn't start looking at your homegirl a little different when she asked you to fuck in, in your bed, your room? Yeah, she, she a fucking whore. I mean, I don't want to slut shame, but... She's a whore. Like, she, listen, <laughs> she gets it in. She gets it in. It's all good. Nah, I don't think... Yeah, I mean, that's the type of... Style she on. I, I, I know that other girls do it because dudes just don't like other dudes in their room in their crib fucking. Like, yo, bro, you got to bring your pussy somewhere else, bro. You can't be just... We don't like that, so just in case you do go on my bed. But I know girls be letting... I'm always in somebody's girl crib. Like, yo, me at me, my, my friend house. I'll be fucking into their friend house all the time. Girls always let you come into their crib. This is a mess. Yeah. Like, I had a big-ass barbecue and shit, and I was like, nah, I go in my cousin's room. Like, not in my room. Damn, poor cousin. Yeah. The cousin getting all the leftover uh, <laughs> semen and STDs. He was like, he was like 13. Huh? Damn. They, oh, she letting up. him in her little cousin room. Oh, little cousin 13. When the little cousin oh, not oh, there. Peace. I thought you said you like two. They, they were thirteen. You smash. No, say, you it's little. Him. The little cousin room is the fuck room when he not home. He just yeah. don't know. Oh, oh it's a, it is a yes. boy. Yes. Yeah, he should smell some. Pussy. That's fucked up. He got to put his head down. He's like, "What is this? Yeah. What is this hard spot right here?" But you know what? Is your, is your girl sound big? Is your girl big? Is your girl big? You don't be washing the sheets. Come yeah. on now. Listen. Because now you touching the semen sheets. Listen, is your girl big that be fucking oh, all the time? I ain't think about that. <laughs> uh-huh. no, she's, not. she's not big? Nah, she's not big. Nah. Oh, okay. Why she gotta be big? I don't know, because they just be wilding all the time. They always fucking in somebody's house. <laughs> don't be nah, fat shaming. I'm not fat shaming. I'm not fat shaming. That, that means he I'm said I'm big girls fucking. Nice. He said big girls fucking other people's house. I, all the girls, all the big girls I smash be fucking in somebody's house real quick. They don't mind. Just pull their pants down. They don't mind fucking. That's fucked up. Wow. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah. Well, All I the big girls who we smashed, I remember that. Wax, she's talking. Shut I'm the sorry. fuck up. Yeah, Wax, like, you always talking over somebody. I'm Thank sorry. you. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> okay, don't call me on me. I'm not that old. <laughs> but I wanted to ask y'all a question and see if I was wrong or not. Okay. Yep. I have a baby. He's nine months old. And his father has yet to met him. 
But like, if he spent money probably like once every other week, but it's only a hundred dollars, which ain't enough. My child daycare is two hundred dollars a week. So Father's Day passed, and um, I never, I didn't call him Father's Day. I didn't feel like he deserved it. Right. And then he told me I was wrong for not calling him a Father's Day. What? Two hundred dollars don't make you a dad. <laughs> No, $200 don't make you a dad. You're not wrong. If he wants to be uh, congratulated on Father's Day, he has to be a father. So tell him to man up and step it up. If all he can afford is $200, uh, he needs to talk to you about it, but he needs to put his time into um, to helping with the baby as well. Like You can't just send money here and there and think niggas is supposed to bow down and suck your dick. No. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying. Like, it's I certain situations. Months, so he never met him. And yeah. he never even met him. Where does he live? Far? Yeah, that's wild. He never met him. Is, does he, he live is, far from you? He's in Boston. So, he's in Boston, Virginia. Oh, that's oh, that is pretty far, but, but that not far, that far. Yeah. They yeah. never meet him? How old is the kid? But I mean, I go to Nine New months. York. I travel to New York Still. like every month. Nah, like yeah, it don't matter. That's know. your child. You should make yes. an effort, no matter if it's in Cali in New York. I don't understand. It's always different, man. Yeah, I'm like, I'm always in New York all the time. I mean, you could like say, it's not like I don't drive. Not like he don't drive. He could come and we could meet halfway or something, or like Connecticut, because that's halfway. And but you, you don't even want to do that. I'm like, but you expect the mother half Father's Day for me? That's good. So you asked him and you offered that, like, hey, let's meet up halfway. And he yeah. said no. I offered that and everything. So take his ass to he court. Like, oh, Fuck him. Yeah. And he comes out with. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't know if I want to take him to court. No, you take should. Him to take him to court. court. Mm hmm. Because that's, it costs more okay. than that to take care of your son. And he's being a dick. And then he wants a happy Father's Day and you won't just come meet your son. What's the problem? Is he married? No. Well, what's the what the? If fuck? he is, I probably don't know. I don't know. The sign's not you, right do you, there. Do you know his financial? Do you know his financial state? Do you know how much he make? Do you know his financial I mean, state? He, was in the, he used to be in the military. Take his ass to court. He oh. should be paying insurance for the baby, all kind of stuff. He got a, a military yes, job. You pay all that by yourself? He and he military. want a happy fucking Father's Day. I'm like, you should have told me Happy Father's Day, right? See, but you know what? Well, I fuck with you because you still getting your hair done. You still yeah, you chilling. You just, you going to New York every week, so obviously yeah. you got a couple dollars. Like, fuck that nigga. Take him to court. Yeah. Take him to court. Man, yeah, listen, that, that's, that, that's not always, that's not always a thing. Man. See, Wax is going to say that because he got taken to court, no, but you was actually trying to do something. The thing, yeah, it's, that's, that's different. It's, a lot of the times, it's like the fathers who always try to do it is the ones that the women take him away and... Take them to court and do a lot of bullshit. This nigga don't some guys, like some guys do need. There is a a, a reason for why certain guys is on it because they don't want to do certain shit. And I just hated the guys that who don't. I think that he don't come around my son is because he lied to me about the girl he was dating, and now I think he's still with her and he don't want her to know that he has a child. Yeah, that's, that's why. Uh, he's a that's combo, why. and that is why. Yeah. Like I said, and this is what I would yeah. do. I would have a conversation with him first. Like, look, happy Father's Day. The shit ain't cutting it. Now, either we could go to court or you going to up the money that you give me for the daycare or make you can pay sense. for daycare every week or whatever, we whatever. 50, 50. You going to come. You don't want to be in his life. That's fine. But you're going to take care of this child because yes. you, you help make 50, it. 50, 50. I think that's fair. Especially y'all not together. Because he's spending money on that bitch. Believe that. Of course. And she got kids too. So I know you spending money on her and her fucking kids. You take it. Is they his kids too? They his kids? No, they're not his kids. You taking care of another nigga kids and you ain't and see them every day and you don't need to take care or see your own kid. Fuck no. How are y'all relationship? Are y'all cool at all? I mean, cool. we, we try and call you with each other, but that'd be the I best feel like thing. More, like he don't do nothing for my friend. So, yeah, like, that's Right, how respect. cool could you respect. be? Like, nigga, what? But it's really hard. To, it's really hard to be cordial with somebody who's taking you to court for no reason. Or put you into what the is the reason no you're reason. not taking care I'm of your saying, child? She says something the same. Both sides. She's yeah, not but doing that. She, she got, got a reason. That. Yeah, she got a $200 reason. Two hundred dollars wax in reason. today and age. This day and she age. She got a reason. Understand what she's saying. How much is your rent? I bet you it ain't four hundred dollars. Yeah, he ain't helping pay half. I get it. I get it. My rent twelve hundred a month. Look at that. Yeah. What's she doing with two hundred dollars? I get it. But a lot of people take advantage of that. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. take advantage of that. He's so. he's the one taking advantage. I 
I gotta pay health insurance for me and my son. And that's expensive. Listen, get 50 50 and make it make sense. Yeah, that's what I would do. Talk to him and I'll be like, listen. Like, yeah. everything come out of pocket. Uh-uh. I would be, to yeah. have a conversation Definitely with him before kid. you do it, but I would definitely be like, listen, you, you got to pull your own weight. This is a child, and we both take it. That's fine if you don't want to be in his life, if that's what you choose to do, gotta but you're going to have him, to take care sure. of him. Definitely. Period. Okay, thank you for calling. Thank you, guys. Good Peace. luck. Bye-bye. I hate niggas like that, man. I yeah. want to fight him. Yeah, me too. I, I don't like him either, and then that's why I hate... Being put in a situation like in the same category as them type of dudes, you know what I'm saying? That shit not cool. See, that's a fucked up thing because there's actually people that's going through things like this, and then you got people that yeah. pretend yeah, just that to get money, yeah, dirt see, bags. It's so it's fucked up though because the only person suffering is it's the fucking kid at the end of the day. So, you might think they cool because they're getting toys and all that dumb ass shit. Now they hurt at the end of the day. Because shit the way you up. feel, yeah, dirt bags, yo, dirt bags. I hate that shit. Mm-mm. Stop taking advantage of stupid shit. Mm-mm. 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 All right, so um, <clears throat> what's up? It's Bully and the Beast podcast. Yes. What's the number to call, Wax? Because these, I love when it like we started off talking about fucking in the bed, uh-huh. and now we talking about going to court. <laughs> Get out of this shit. <laughs> I hate court by the way no but I do I like I love the fact that we can help you guys with some advice whether yes. you take it or not it's mm-hmm. a discussion you know um, we could laugh we could joke but we could also kind of like figure out y'all life for y'all yeah, listen at the end of the day <laughs> I think that we helping ourselves out too because yeah. I, I kind of thought of something I said something earlier and I was like uh duh wax use your own advice dumbass you wear a condom yeah you like uh duh wax stop fucking in your friends beds no no. Oh, you mean because of the bumps? <laughs> you down with OPP? Hell no, you don't know me. <laughs> I felt bad because we making fun of him. Yeah, but that's fucked up. I'd be so mad. Yo, word is born. Sometimes, I apologize. Listen, fact, throughout our lives, you might have like a little bump or something might come on. You like look down, you be like, what the fuck? And the first, first treatment we try to think is alcohol. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. I, I be never would look down I and go be like, get a motherfucking alcohol and I'd be over here like, what the fuck is this shit? Let me say this is years ago. Like anytime you ever get you any put type alcohol of alcohol on your dick? I'm just saying if you got a motherfucking bump and something the first thing you do before you get checked out is like, yo, alcohol right ahead, right away. No. I used to alcohol my dick right after I smash a girl, I alcohol it all up and see if I feel any type of sting or or like any open sore, and I'd be like, Word, I'm good. Open sort. Okay. You, um, I don't, but This is you the Bully get... and the Beast podcast. I, please leave me alone. Um, I'm over you. See, you ain't got, you I'm ain't, you ain't got, no, you ain't got no tire. Wax. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, we're going to get out of here. Yeah, Make sure y'all rate, review, subscribe, yeah. all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Um, listen every Monday. Listen whenever you got some motherfucking time. Yeah. And um, we're out of here. 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 Um,